Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Silhouette Secrets Plus, and today I have a tip for print and cut. I have been noticing with all machine users, not just Silhouette, but all across the board, that we're seeing reports of the print not being the accurate size. And most people wouldn't even notice this, and in most cases, the user just blames the cutting machine that they're using. In reality, it's not even a cutting machine issue. It is actually a printer issue or a printer setting. So I wanna show you exactly what I mean. Now, first I wanna tell you that this is in regards to the size of the actual printout. In most cases, most users would notice this, their cut lines are going to be off or the way that we found it was someone was trying to cut a cardstock um, cake topper. So they were using cardstock as the background, but then they were doing a print and cut that was supposed to match up for the front of the cardstock. When they did the cut, it was a different size than their actual print and cut. So that's when I started to investigate and started to go down this rabbit hole. So what I found is that printers are either selecting the auto for borderless print or the user has had borderless print on and does not turn it off. So for a print and cut with any cutting machine, it has to match your screen exactly. So I wanna give you a glimpse here of an example of the printout. Now, I wanna warn you first, it's gonna be goofy with your eyes for a second. So try not to focus on that, but I'll try to pinpoint some of the things that I want to show you. So here is a photo of two printouts of a print and cut through Silhouette Studio. I have layered the print and cut pages on top of each other and they are on top of a light board so I can try and show you exactly what I'm meaning here. So on the bottom layer is the print and cut that was done with borderless on. And on top of that, is your normal setting for your printer for print and cut with the borderless option off. As you can see, the registration marks and the actual size of the design is different. When you have borderless selected in your printer setup, it changes the size of your printout. Now, there are reasons for you to use borderless in your projects. If you're printing a full page printout, you can utilize that, you know, for usually you're not doing a print cut. And in this case, I would suggest that you always have borderless turned off in your printer settings to get the accurate printout and for an accurate print and cut. Now, I don't know whether the default for the printers has changed because all printers are different. All printer drivers are different, all brands are different. I'm going to show you in the Silhouette Studio software what mine looks like and where I find that setting and where to turn it off. In my case, my borderless is not auto defaulted on. So it's not something that I would have even noticed in testing because we had no idea that this was even gonna affect it and it was only through troubleshooting with a user on my Facebook group that we started to investigate and to look into this. And I started to get examples to show you and line those up. So here's another look real quick. Again, this is gonna play goofy with your eyes because it's two pages lined up together, but I tried to hold this design up to a light up close so you could see the actual difference in the image that was printed. Because on the light box, you can't really tell with the image, but you can definitely tell with the registration marks and where they line up. So here's the photo with the image and showing you the differences and how it is a different size print and cut when you have borderless turned on. Now, I'm gonna show you with this exact printout that I used, and I'm gonna go into my printer settings. The first thing I wanna tell you is that all printers 
and models are different. So your print settings may not look exactly like mine. And I'm gonna show you something with Windows 11 too. But, so you have to look into this and look into what your printer menus show and look for this option in there. The other thing I would suggest is that you test this yourself. It is not hard to test. It's very, very easy for you, once you know where that setting is, to print out a page, and I just print it on regular copy paper, one, because it's cheap and it's cost effective, and two, because the light could shine through it easier, so I chose a very low quality copy paper so that I would be able to show you that. But what I want you to see is where I find this option in my printer menu, so you can start to look in your printer menu. So when you're in the Silhouette Studio software, I go to File, Print, and then I'm going to get this printer preview. Now in later versions of Silhouette Studio software, you can turn this off. I actually prefer to have it on. I just simply click Print. It's one extra click. It's not that hard. Now here's the Windows 11 thing. I have not figured this out. One of these days I'll take the time to figure it out. Mine's just going to sit and spin here and it's never going to connect. I just simply choose cancel. Then it's going to bring up my actual printer menus. So I have a Canon 9500 series printer. That's my regular everyday printer. And currently it's showing offline. I don't actually have it turned on for this because I'm not going to print a page. But what I want to show you is you're going to go into your preferences or your advanced section on your printer settings. And then I show over here additional features. Now, another thing to note here is not all printers are borderless printers. So if you don't see the options for borderless in your printer settings, you may not have that ability on your current printer. I do with my Canon 9521C, TS 9521C. Um, it's a craft printer, I love it. I've had it for over three years now. But if I check this box here, that's going to change the size of my actual printed page. The other thing that you should check for, if you don't have the borderless option, but your printing is not accurate, is whether your page is being scaled. And you will have to look in your printer windows to find out if it is going to be scaled. For instance, in my printer menu, if I click on the page setup, I have options here for normal size, borderless, fit to page, scaled, or other additional options here. If you don't have borderless option, then I would check that you're not having your page scaled. Now I see this most often when somebody is printing to a PDF. When they print a PDF, it automatically defaults in some cases to uh, scale to fit. And that's why some people cannot send a PDF document to be printed at a print shop and then have it come home and do the accurate print and cut. It would be because the image or the page has been scaled in some way. It can be scaled up or it can be scaled down either way. But it's something for you to look into if you're not having consistent accurate printouts. Now, unless you compare a printout of a normal print, to the scaled or the borderless print, you may never even know that this is the cause of your problem. And that's why it takes so long to troubleshoot some issues is because if you don't have multiple printers to compare to, or you don't print out using different settings, you may never find this was the problem. And a lot of times, in this case, I'm using the Silhouette, but any cutting machine that you're using, a lot of times the user blames the machine or the software for not having an accurate print and cut. And in reality, it is not the software or the machine that is the problem. When you have print and cut projects, you have multiple aspects in that print and cut. You have multiple factors. So you have your not just your um, software, you have your printer as well, which in another thing to mention here is if you have not installed your printer drivers directly from your printer manufacturer, I would highly recommend it. Just plugging in your printer does not always um, install all of the print drivers. So if you're not seeing all of your print options show up, uninstall what has automatically installed, go to the printer manufacturer's website and download the specific drivers for your actual printer. 
Now keep in mind, if you have a super old printer model, some of those drivers may not be available. So just double check that before you do delete the uh, drivers you currently have. Now, I am cutting this and inserting it back into the video because I wanna make sure that you have a, if you do decide to test this part of it, that you are doing it in the correct steps. So if I were to turn borderless printing on here, if I choose borderless printing, it's gonna tell me that only certain paper types, I choose okay, it changes that. I need to click okay, and I need to click apply, and then I need to cancel this so that it can reset those printer settings. Because as you can see here, all my print preview already has those settings that it thinks it's going to use. So if I've made a change, such as my page size or my borderless print or any of those other options there, I need to apply that and then hit cancel and then cancel again and I'm gonna start over so that those settings can reset because I've already changed those. So you can see here, now I don't have that print border or for the margins on my page. Um, I just wanted to make sure to add that in there in Windows 11 again. And then if I come back to preferences, it's still selected, but now it's flipped it in the software and it's changed that to that borderless print. So it is a great tip to add anytime you're changing something such as your page size. So if I were to change this to my 12 by 12 cardstock, I would have to do the same thing. Click OK and it's going to tell me I can only use certain material types. On my print preview, I still have my letter size, so I have to click apply cancel that so it resets, cancel it there, and then come back here and choose print. And then it's going to show me that actual change that I've made in my printer setup. So I hope that this tip has helped. It is something that we are seeing pop up more and more. And as frustrating as it is, it's not an actual silhouette problem. It is something that is in the printer settings and that the user would have to identify themselves. So now I've told you how to do that. I challenge you to do it. I challenge you to make a printout on copy paper with normal settings and with borderless settings if your printer has that option and compare those two. You don't need a light box to do that. I used it so I could get a better photo. Just hold it up to the light, put those pages um, match them up identically to each other and hold it up to the light and see if there's a difference. You might be surprised. So I hope those tips have helped. Thanks for joining me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click that bell for notifications for future updates. Check out more information in the links in the description below, as well as on the Silhouette Secrets website at silhouette-secrets.com. Thanks and have a great day.